Hey guys, I'm actually about to go into work right now, but I figured I'm here about 20 minutes early. I am I can make a little video real quick on what paint markers you should get if you want to customize your grip tape. So let's get to that. So here's my grip tape. I have I did a Star Wars theme for the new uh, movie came out. I put a little uh, blue lightsaber on the Grizzly, the Rebel Alliance symbol, and the R2-D2 on my board. And uh, what you mainly need to do is find probably a Michaels. Uh, they're about, well, it depends on if you get like a pack of maybe three for about four or six dollars or a pack of one. Um, the company that I got that was really good is Craftsmart. Hold on, let me focus it. Come on. Yeah, Craftsmart. I got a blue, white, gold, and uh, I got a pack of four, which is uh, blue, white, red, and yellow, I think, for like about $4. And I also got a big white one, or and a big gold one that I haven't used yet. Um, I recommend the fatter ones for coloring in, kind of like how I did here with the Rebel symbol, and the more thin ones for more detailed like the red outline or uh, doing the squares and everything in the R2-D2 or writing I definitely recommend the thin ones and if you want a little help with circles like how I did the Rebel I got a little circular ceramic thing I don't I don't even know what this is actually but um yeah you place it on there just trace it out and you're good to go so yeah you know, I had a lot of questions of what um, company I should get for decorating my grip tape, and I'm sure a lot of you do as well. So I figured I'd make a video about it, what I use, and how great it works. I definitely recommend these. They're not that expensive. They're they work very well. Uh, the grip does wear away at the pens while coloring in like this. So I again, I definitely recommend the fat one because you don't want to color in with a thin one. And the thin one is definitely great for detail. So. Uh, yeah, now I'm going to go into work. <laughs> Bye, guys.